it looks kind of like a, a normal quiet day um, doesn't really feel like we're in lockdown uh, but you can see small evidence um, it feels like people are only going out when they need to people are still going to work people are still shopping I'm the only one wearing a face mask in the shops so I'm the weirdo better safe than sorry so yeah that's home for the next uh, couple of weeks so this is the workshop I've been using this a lot to work on Foxy in the last couple of years. Amazing space. And then if we go upstairs, and here we have the studio. Amazing space for music and for recording some video bits. And then we have the kitchen. This used to be my kitchen uh, a couple of years ago. And upstairs is the living space, which was my home. For three years it of course doesn't look uh, as cozy as it used to look when i was living here but maybe we can bring back some cozy vibes for the next couple weeks so uh so it feels more like a home so it's been like two days since i moved into this space and things are moving fast so it's only a few days ago that the government decided to close the schools, close all restaurants and bars and limit gatherings to a hundred people. Well, tomorrow we're gonna move even closer to a lockdown. All gatherings will be forbidden. Only pharmacies, food shops, newspaper shops, bookshops will be allowed to be open. People need to work from home. We need to limit our time that we go outside to the bare minimum. We don't know how long this is gonna take. Uh, this might be a couple of weeks, this might be a couple of months. Not that I was planning anything different in the self-quarantine two weeks that I gave myself, but this is getting a little scary now. I better find some people to team up with at some point, because staying alone here is not gonna be fun. I can tell you that. Why Belgium, you might ask, because if you follow me, then you know that I live in Iceland these days. Um, I was spending the winter in Belgium, being with family and working on my car and doing awesome trips, like the trip I just did in Scotland. And since I returned from that, I was a little bit in limbo in London, not knowing what to do. Where should I go in this situation? Should I stay in London with my friends I was with? Or should I come back here? Should I go on the planned work trip to Iceland? Because I was supposed to be in Iceland right now for, for work. I had this big question of which country right now is the safest for me to be in. But then the flights to Iceland got cancelled and in the UK the government wasn't doing much. So that was my answer. I had to go back to Belgium and uh, just, just stay here. This situation has been feeling quite familiar to me though in this place. Um, during the time I lived here uh, there was the attacks in Brussels and at the airport which is literally a couple streets away from here which kind of gave a similar feeling of uncertainty and unsafe to go out of the house and I dealt with depression while I lived here so I locked myself up and on top of that I uh, suffered and still am suffering from tinnitus which is definitely something I can live with right now but when it started out I was just hopeless and locking myself up in here protecting myself from loud noises and which was literally not what I was supposed to do so in all these situations and today um, there has always been this feeling of will things ever go back to normal and they kind of did but I guess things also changed but it's this feeling of being locked in the situation and not seeing a bright future um, not seeing possibilities out of it so after two days of reading the news and doing a lot of research about the coronavirus um, I realized that is definitely not the way to go um, this is not helping I'm not feeling so great it's all about living in the moment they say and the last two days I've just been living in an apocalyptic future uh, we're not there yet uh, 
maybe one day we'll get there. Anyway, we're in this situation now. Let's make the best of it day by day and the rest, the rest will be for later. We'll figure that out. But uh, I don't have anyone to talk to uh, since I'm alone here. And I'm gonna be here alone for a while. Um, so I thought, why not talk to the camera? Why not talk to you? So I was thinking about making some videos uh, with regular updates about living in a lockdown and uh, maybe some other stories just to distract me from the situation and bring me back to my travels or whatever. And I'm gonna have a lot of time to continue working on Foxy. So I'll be able to give you updates about that as well. Hopefully I get some work done. Um, but anyway, in the meantime, hit subscribe if you wanna keep following what I'm doing what's happening here and uh, I guess I'll see you in the next one.